This is Top Block Gaming, we're here with Izzy Cartwright and sorry, your last name, John Corcoran. Uh, these are lead designer and the lead PvP designer for the new Guild Wars expansion, Art of Thorns, which we've played and we absolutely loved. So, right guys, first thing, anything really, really special about this expansion? Anything players should be really looking forward to? There's many things. Uh, you know, I think the thing that uh, I'm really excited about is the mastery system. It really gives us as developers a lot of new tools and for the players to be able to experience progression in a different way. And I really think we're pushing progression in a very different place than what uh, kind of MMOs have typically done. And I'm really excited to see how that pans out. So I want to say that uh, for PvP we have um, Champion's Dust, which is our first map for Stronghold. Uh, in Stronghold, players uh, gather uh, supply, raise troops, and break into their, their enemy's Stronghold and defeat their enemy ward. Um, really excited about that. Uh, for World vs. World, we have the new Desert Borderlands, and if you want to hear information about that, um, Saturday, 3 p.m., the uh, EGX stream. Um, if you want to watch it there, if you want to come by. Uh, Amazing, man. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Um, anything? So that's what's amazing and what's really unique. Anything you guys personally are very proud of? Not just the expansion. Anything you've done throughout the throughout the session, throughout all of it. You know, uh, I am always so proud of our team. Uh, I work a lot more with a bunch of people doing the design, and uh, so every little piece is really a love of all of the team members involved. And it's impressive to see so many people from so many different disciplines come together and take anything and make it a polished, fun experience that everyone can play today. Yes, yeah, you mentioned the team. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, all the work that everyone's put into has been fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. When, and now we're here at these events. Uh, we had PAX East last week, and we got uh, Res now. Um, I will say that I will say I have a lot of pride in our community, you know, and uh, everything, all the feedback they've given us, all the love they've shown for the game, you know, a lot of excitement around uh, Heartthorns, you know, um, it's just, it means so much to come out to these events and uh, get to meet everybody face to face. Um, so many people that, uh, you know, I've met through other sources, Twitter and things like that. So I wanted to get them in the person. It's very energetic. Yes, yeah, I can imagine. Right, a few nitty gritty things. Any technical changes to the game? You've mentioned the mastery system, but anything like level caps, new professions, new abilities, anything like that that's like vastly different that players will notice? So yeah, we actually decided to go the route of no level caps or no new tiers of gear. Uh, the progression system is our answer to that. We find level caps uh, really leave a wasteland of content behind uh, of kind of things that were balanced in the past that are no longer balanced in the future. And uh, really the reason why we designed the mastery system was to avoid that. And also, we do lots of updates. We've done 40 major updates since we shipped this game. And, uh, you know, a leveling system doesn't really compatible well with doing updates that quickly, but the mastery system does, and so that's a big one. We do have new abilities. We have uh, the specialization system, which is going to get every profession in the game a new weapon that they can use, new sets of utility skill skills and elites, uh, as well as new sets of traits. And, uh, uh, we will be going into more of that as we get closer. Uh, of course, so yeah, man. Of course. Anything? Yeah. Think it's good, anything? Nice one. Um, last one, mainly for you. Um, has there been any changes to PvP to balance it? Now, I didn't play Guild Wars 2, but I played Guild Wars 1, and I got stolen, a, I got stoned over a lot by some of the higher level warrior classes. It just didn't matter what I threw at them. Anything like that arisen that you've noticed, or is it fairly balanced, or anything major you've had to do I'm to it? <laughs> Balance is my favorite thing in the world. You know, I mean, I think we have a really healthy uh, kind of environment going on right now. We see a lot of different strategies emerging. Uh, most of our professions are really seeing a lot of play uh, in, in the PvP space, and so that's really awesome. And I think uh, really excited about. 
uh, you know, making an expansion and bring him to bring a bunch of new things to the game because uh, really lets us build some new balanced foundations. We can, uh, you know, we're changing the way stability works. Uh, we have lots of things coming that'll help us balance the game easier in the future, and also give some more tools for players to balance the game themselves. You know, metas really evolve and change when the players are able to adapt to a situation, and then that creates a new situation that then someone new adapts to, and it creates this awesome cycle. And so I think we really want to continue to encourage that, and I think some of the things we're doing in Heart of Thorns is going to do that. Yeah, I actually wanted to riff on that a little bit because, you know, there are so many uh, changes coming with, you know, the Revenant coming, you know, the specialization thing that I didn't mention, and all that, you know, that I think it's going to be a very exciting time uh, when the Heart of Thorns hits because, you know, it's going to shake up everything, you know, and it's going to be a lot of fun to, uh, for, for everyone to kind of, like, you know, figure out what the new meta is, you know, figure out what the, the new builds are, and, you know, it's just going to be a great time. Sounds good. A uh, couple more ones. Any real difficulties arisen making this? Any problems you've had that took the whole team to overcome? Or like anything where you plugged it in and it was just the whole thing didn't, wouldn't work, you wouldn't lie? Anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, one of the things that's always a challenge is um, we've been getting better and better at a studio of integrating all of the different pieces to something that we do. Uh, but the mastery system, it requires another level of kind of integration. Uh, integration with your content and your reward system and really designing and balancing that from the beginning. And so that's definitely been a big challenge and a big thing that uh, I've been really happy how well we've been able to overcome that. And that uh, in order to get a really polished experience with the mastery system, doing content, finding new things, messaging that whole system, uh, it takes a lot of work from a lot of different people. And so uh, yeah, we're just starting to get the first looks of people in there and there's already piles of changes that I want to take back of you know, uh, ways that the, the UX of those features worked. And, uh, and so it's just nice to actually start getting some hands on it because a lot of MMO features really need a lot of people for them to work or break or not and so as we move into beta periods and things like that, really excited to see how all that pans out. John, yeah, anything so, you... Uh, very difficult. It's, it's just, that's just part of game development. You know, you're always going to face challenges and you know, challenges. Um, I think the one that, uh, that, that you know, I would kind of mention is that you know it, it takes a lot of iteration to get things to where you want yeah. to be, right? And um, you know some uh, some uh, players who've really kind of been paying attention to everything we've said have uh, pointed out that we actually mentioned Stronghold about a year ago. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> and so say, in fact, actually, Jeff wrote that. There was a um, uh, so we put out a video that showed some great boxes at that time, right? Yeah. And um, the other thing is, like, it took us a lot of iteration to get it to a point where we felt like it was ready, you know? And so, like, we went down a lot of paths to try a lot of different things out. There are some points where we actually just put it on a shelf for a little bit, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, eventually we got to the point where, like, we really, you know, felt like it was the right thing for the too, and so we were super excited about it. But that's just, that's just game development, you know? A lot of it. That's just how it goes. Yeah. Um, a couple of last ones. Just, <laughs> Any major changes from like the original concepts for Heart of Thorns, like you had an original idea that hasn't made it into the game for, for through development reasons, or didn't gel with the way the story ended up going, or anything like that? So actually, I think I just answered. I think you just answered that. Yes, you did. Yeah, I, I got a fun one. The uh, Revenant started off uh, named the Mist Warrior. Uh, and it was actually built on an old piece of concept art that Keikai did of this warrior kind of like this mist forming around him and him using it as an attack. And it was pretty fun because we, we play around with a lot of different names. I think uh, it was called a Reckoner for a little while, uh, but the name was a little odd. Uh, you know, we called uh, different, different types of stuff changed with him. And you know, we had a bunch of different mechanics that we really played around with and how we operated. And uh, so that was kind of fun seeing how all that played out. And, you know, eventually, Found some things that really gelled and works, and uh, I'm really happy with where it landed. Yeah, this right. is when I couldn't use my name, get right to me. That's pretty good. And uh, the last one I've got, you might not be able to answer, but any hints or plans at anything for the future? Future expansions, Guild Wars 3, anything you can say about it? Obviously, if there is anything going on, you might not be allowed to talk about it. No, I, the hint that I can give is we're all focused on the expansion. You know, uh, really, we want to make it the best expansion that we can. And so, in our studio, our you know, design, all of our mindset is on how do we make this the best thing ever. And so, that's really where our focus is right now. You know, uh, we built a studio that can adapt to change and uh, and move and, and sway however we need it to. And uh, right now, that focus is get this out, and get it in players' hands, and uh, it's really fun for us to build. It's 
fun for everyone to play. We just want that to be uh, yeah. happening all the time. And I'd like to say again, I think we both really enjoyed it. They had to drag us away from the computers. <laughs> um, is there anything else you guys would like to say? Any like free mic time you'd like? Or? Yeah, sure. Uh, the guilds is a really huge big part of the expansion as well. You know, something we haven't gotten to get a lot into, um, but I really want everyone to think that uh, it's a major pillar of the expansion, and it's something that we're going to go into a lot more details later, because guilds is a, a huge important part of MMOs. You you play MMOs to play with other people, and guilds is is that centralized feature that helps bring people together. And, uh, we, you know, it's the first word in our name. Uh, we really really want it to be a very powerful, important tool that everyone in the game can enjoy and play with. Yeah, one thing I want to mention is that, you know, um, last weekend we had the World Tournament Series yeah. in Boston. Uh, it was a fantastic event, you know, uh, a lot of people are super excited about that. And, you know, one of the things that we've been seeing, you know, since our first World Tournament Series in Beijing, uh, a lot of the changes that went to PvP in December, you know, is that there has been a growing PvP community, you know. Uh, a lot of people coming into, a lot of people really excited about, a lot of people coming together over the teams and the stories that uh, Mark have been coming out of the high end of the, um, uh, PvP that you see in uh, the World Tournament Series, right? So, um, this is a really exciting time, and, uh, you know, the next World Tournament Series is coming up, and you know, we're really excited to see, yeah. see what happens next. Yeah. I suppose so. I mean, I think everybody in the building heard the cheer from the first lot that got to play the PvP from the winning side. Oh, yeah. It just went all around the building. So I think you're right. I think the queue for PvP was much longer than PvE when it started. So ah, it's nice to see that it's growing and that it's, it's getting a, you know, a really good following behind it. Um, fortunately, that's all the questions I've got. I think we're a bit out, guys. Um, thank you very much for taking this time to talk to us. Thank you. We've had a really good one. Thank you.